Hey everybody, it's Jenna from Jenna Stitches. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel. If you like this video, please think about liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. I would really, really appreciate that. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. But today is Tuesday, so it is Temperature Blanket Tuesday. Um, and I do have a playlist for Temperature Blanket Tuesday. This is only the second week. Last week I did do my intro for temperature blanket tuesday there's a piece of cat hair on me um so i will have a playlist throughout the year for this but what it is is i have decided to do a temperature blanket for 2023 and i'm actually going along with the dates and everything so every tuesday i will come on to show my progress on it um i did say in the intro and it's still relevant that um I don't know if it will be every Tuesday. As of right now, I really do love the blanket and i am been enjoying working on it. So I think for right now, it will be every Tuesday. Um, but there might be some points during the year where I, I don't work on it for a little bit. So maybe every other week, we'll just see how it goes. But um, I am caught up to date as of yesterday. So I do have this week coming up, starting today, lined up to work on, but I did so far do January 1st through January 9th on the blanket so I figured I'd come on and show you the progress of it which is what I'll be doing during this temperature blanket Tuesdays so I had it on the floor um I can't think of what I was just gonna say wow um but I am caught up and we do have a very nice variation of colors in my blanket so far. I don't know if I'm happy about that or not because um, we've had some kind of cold days. But this is what I have so far. And I am doing the moss stitch on this. I'm not really following a pattern or anything. Um, the original idea that I started with came from Pine and Fox. Some something pine and something fox i'll have it linked down below um but it's actually something i had saved since last year with a like moss stitch temperature blanket and then um krista from the secret yarnery is also doing a similar blanket where it's like a moss stitch temperature blanket thing and that's basically all i'm doing so um i did i don't even remember how much i chained at this point um but let me see if i can even like even sitting all the way back here, it, I still can't, there we go. So that's the width of it. Um, and if you can see like right here, it kind of has a, I don't even know if you can tell cause you can't tell towards the top, but I can still kind of see it towards the bottom where it kind of goes out here. I had originally chained and started with that amount and I thought it was too short. So I added on to my chain here but I was already on like the fifth of the month and I didn't want to um unstitch it all or frog it all and go back so I just kind of fudged it and added on to the chain and now you can't even tell that I did that but you can tell like if you get kind of close that the first couple of days right here are a little messy because I um did fudge my chain and kind of add on but it worked so it's something I might do in the future if I accidentally chain not enough and I hate frogging things, but I really, really like it so far. I'm really enjoying the moss stitch pattern to it. Um, I really love this yarn. Most of it right now, actually, no, the purple in this, uh, I forgot the name of this one, but the, the purple in this one are big twist and the blue is a, I love this yarn but i i just adore it so far um i really love it and i think i'm gonna really enjoy making it throughout the year so i do at this point anticipate working on it weekly um but again you never know so the lilac color or purple um and i lost my little uh temperature key that i made it's somewhere and i found it the other day after i already thought it was lost and then i lost it again um, but the lilac color is um, 41 to 50 degrees. So we had quite a few days in the 40s, which is good. Um, and I did start the chain as January 1st. And then the first row of moss stitch was January 2nd. 
And then the blue color, which right here would go into January 3rd, is 31 through 40 degrees. Um, so I had two days of that where we were in the 30s. Then we jumped back up into the 40s, back down into the 30s. The darker color right here is um, 21 through 30 degrees. So we were in the 20s for two days there and then we jumped back up into the 40s yesterday. Um, and I'm not doing it like real time or anything. I already have all the temperatures written down, written, written down for today through next Monday the 16th. Um, and I kind of have been adjusting them as the days go by because I had worked on Sunday and Monday last week to just start it. And then I didn't work on Tuesday through yesterday until uh, Sunday night. So I did kind of adjust them as I went. So you can see like right here on Saturday, I actually had changed the temperatures to be more accurate for what we were actually having that day. Um, but some of the days I'm not. So um, I don't feel like it was really like Sunday the 8th where we have this darker color here for the 21 through 28. Um, I have that it was 25 degrees out and then yesterday it was 44. I personally didn't leave my house Sunday or Monday and I work from home so I usually don't leave my house during the week but I don't feel like it was that cold out and then that warm out but who knows um right now it's 30 degrees out which does line up with what I have written down today it says the high is 32 and the low is 27 so but that is what I have I don't really know what else to say about it other than I'm really liking it um, I really like the moss stitch. I like how tight it is. It, and it's really not. Like, it stretches quite a bit. Um, but I like that there's no holes or gaps in it. And I think it just creates a really, really pretty pattern. And I am really excited to, you know, work on this and have the variation in it. And it looks like even this week coming up, we're going to have quite a bit variation. Because today will be um, purple. Today will be the blue because it's 32. So today will be blue. Then we're going to go to purple. Then we'll go to purple again, then to blue, then to the darker uh, tealish color here, to the tealish color, to the purple. So even this week coming up that I'm going to be working on, it's going to have a good variation of colors, which is one thing I generally don't really care for temperature blankets, especially in my area as we are generally cold and then warm and then cold again with not much variation of temperature. But so far this year, we've been, you know, really good range between 40s to low 20s so far. So I've been getting a really good color in here already. I was really worried that it'd all be purple starting out or the blue color. So I'm really, really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to getting another week on it so I can show it to you guys next week. And that's what I got for you. Pretty short video, but I don't know what else to say about it. But there is what I got so far. So I will end it here and come back next week to show you more progress on it. So I hope everybody had a great Tuesday and is having a great week. And will have a great week ahead of you. And I will see you all tomorrow for the next one. Bye.